Electric vehicle technology is the new buzzword in the field of electrical engineering and you will find most of the vehicles in next two years would be all electric vehicles on the road. In this contest, the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering of KLS Gokte Institute of Technology have established a center of competence in electric vehicles in association with Decibels to help the student in this domain. My name is Rahul Suryoshi. I'm working as an assistant professor in the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering at KLS Gokte Institute of Technology, Belgavi. Let us see the first setup. Uh, in this first setup, students will be able to understand regarding different different types of cell formats which are used in electric vehicles. The different types of cell formats are cylindrical cells, prismatic cell and pulse cell. Depending upon the application where the electric vehicle has to be deployed, these type of cells will be used. Students will also be able to understand the different cell chemistries which are being used in the system. Also, students will be able to understand regarding the cell architecture, how the cells have to be connected in series and parallel combination so that in order to make a battery pack. This is the first setup in our center of competence in electric vehicle technology. Let us see the next setup. The next setup is electric vehicle subsystems. In this setup, students will be able to learn regarding different types of drive systems which are used in electric vehicle. The different types of drive systems which are used are one is a hub drive motor and another is a mid drive motor. Now, in this setup, students will be able to understand the construction and working of different different types of motors which have been used in electric vehicle. Also, they will be able to understand regarding the architecture of the controller also the different different types of connections which are available in the controller so that a vehicle can be driven in a systematic way charging is very important in an electric vehicle this setup gives a overview of different types of charging connectors and contactors which are used in an electric vehicle students will be able to understand regarding the slow chargers as well as the fast chargers and different different types of contactors which are used in the electric vehicle system now let's see the electric vehicle powertrain workbench at our EVCOC. In this setup, students will be able to understand the different different types of components which have been used in an electric vehicle, such as motor, battery, junction box, controller, DC-DC converter, onboard charger, reverse forward switch, reverse forward controller, what we can say, also a throttle. Students will also be able to understand the working construction of each and every component and they will be able to measure the different different voltage parameters at the battery. Also, they will be able to measure the temperatures which is there in the battery setup. Also, students will be able to control these parameters and test the setup at different loading condition. Hello everyone, myself Avinash Deshpande, working as a Assistant Professor in the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering at KLS GIT. Now we will move on to the next setup at our EVCOC at KLS GIT, uh, which is our lithium ion cell testing and uh, cell characterization. Here we have a battery testing system wherein eight cells can be tested uh, simultaneously, eight different testings can be done and data can be seen over the system, voltage, current, charging, discharging currents, SOC, all these parameters can be seen. Testing can be done from few hours to few days and data can be stored. This uh, testing can be done at room temperature and uh, it can be done for different climatic conditions and different temperatures also using the environmental uh, chamber. Here we can keep the cell and we can test the cell for different environmental conditions right from minus 20 degrees Celsius to plus 80 degrees Celsius and for different humid conditions so that uh, the battery testing can be done uh, for more uh, realistic uh, conditions. Cell impedance is one of the important parameter which basically enable the students to determine the aging of the battery, battery degradation and health of the battery. In this particular setup, which is lithium ion cell impedance testing setup, we can measure the cell impedance and students will be able to plot the rx characteristics of the battery so using this particular parameter students will be able to uh, come to a conclusion about the health of the battery and uh, the population of the cells within the battery pack 
One of the important aspect of EV is the battery pack manufacturing. In this setup, students will be able to develop the battery pack as per the study which they have already carried out. Here we have the spot welding machine and we have the necessary protection gears. Using this, students will be able to connect the cells in series and parallel as per the requirement and they will be able to manufacture the battery as per their requirement. The system which controls the functionality of the battery is battery management system. Battery management system basically controls the parameters like voltage, current and temperature to ensure the safe and reliable operation of the battery. Here students will be learning the development of algorithm for BMS for a single cell. In this setup students will be able to develop the MATLAB Simulink model and they will be able to deploy it and test it for a single cell. Once they learn the single cell uh, algorithm development, they can extend it and check it at the multi-cell level which is at the battery pack using multi-cell BMS algorithm development and testing kit. In order to test an electric vehicle under the real-time road condition, and analyze the parameter and performance of a vehicle, we have a setup at our Electric Vehicle Center of Competence, that is Electric Vehicle Two-Wheeler Testing and Data Acquisition System. Here we have a customized electric vehicle, which is mounted on a eddy current based two-wheeler chassis dynamometer. This chassis dynamometer helps us to simulate the real world road conditions. Using this setup, we can acquire and analyze various types of data which can be taken from the motor as well as battery such as voltage, current, temperature, torque, speed, etc. This data can be further used to analyze and test the device at the real world conditions. With these facilities at EV Center of Competence KLSGIT Belagavi, learners will be able to get an exposure of EV technology right from the basic level to the advanced level and thereby contribute positively to the growing EV industry.